The Five Phantoms. Strange. No one is here. So, where did the rustling sound come from? Or are there ghosts? People rumored that on the night of the full moon, a ghost would appear in the palace. Come on. The first time I was sent on a night patrol, and it's right on the night of the full moon. Ah, there's, there's ghost. There's ghost. Ghost. Help me. There's a ghost. What happened? Where's the ghost? Oh, it's a ghost! I'm scared! Who's there? Who's calling? Who's there? Ghost! Where's the ghost? Where's the ghost? Arthur, you are a royal knight, and yet you are afraid of ghosts. You managed to shock the Emperor, the Empress, 300 concubines, and a thousand court ladies, all because of one single cat. My sins deserve death. General, please punish me. You should have been executed, but since you have served well, I will spare your life. Gather your belongings and leave immediately. You are not worthy to be a knight. Thank you, General, for having my life spared. Leave and return the knight's armor. You are not fit to wear it. Please, allow me to wear this armor on my way back home. This is my final wish. You have lost your title of Royal Knight. Stop asking to be identified as one. My general! My friends and acquaintances will make fun of me if I leave the palace dressed like a peasant, and I... I will be too embarrassed to look them in the eye. This is my last wish. Please have mercy. Well, as you were once a diligent knight, I'll allow you to wear it on your way home. But stop donning it in the future, unless you want to bring disgrace upon the Royal Knights. Yes, General. Thank you for your kindness. Strange. It's only late afternoon, and yet every door is closed and locked. It will take me another two forests and three hills to reach my house from here. I think I need to take a break here for now. Let's knock on some doors and ask for a place to sleep. Who's there? I'm Arthur, the knight. I'm on my journey home, and it's getting dark. Is it possible for me to get some sleep tonight? No, you need to get going. Sorry, but we can't let you in. Oh, this woman is so inaccessible. Let's try knocking on some other doors. Who's there? I'm Arthur, the knight. I'm on my journey home and it's getting dark. Is it possible for me to get some sleep tonight? No one here will let you in for the night. So don't even bother asking. Leave. It's weird how unapproachable everyone here is. It looks like I'll have to find a place to crash for the night. Oh. There's a village shrine. Lucky me. I can just spend the night here. I really hope no one comes to tend to this shrine or I'll have to leave. Whew. So tired. It took forever to get up here. I didn't expect the beam in this temple to be so high. I'll just lie up here so that if someone ends up coming caring for the shrine, they won't be able to see me and chase me away. In this hour of darkness, the beasts will surely find me if I try to sleep in the forest. Damn, who is that? This clack is the door opening sound. That's right. The sound is coming from the outer reaches of the shrine. Thankfully, I'd already figured out that I needed to scale the inner space's beam rather than the outer spaces. They can't see me unless they come in. So boring. There's no one to tease today. Yeah, it'd be fun even if only a few people would come out on the street to joke around with us every once in a while. If I don't stay here, they'll kick me out. And I won't have a place to sleep tonight. Alright, so let's share the most touching experiences we've ever had. Swan, you go first. Let me tell you. I mean, come on, Swan? That's 
just a weird name. When I went to the woods three years ago to catch frogs, I found myself in a swamp instead, right when the ground was about to give way. So, as my body slowly submerged in the swamp, I cried out in terror, but no one came to my aid. And then? Then, I felt absolutely no weight on my body, and I was able to fly back home safely. It's really bizarre what they're saying. No weight? Then, even fly? Now it's time for Stuck to tell his story. Oh my, there was a guy named Swamped, and now there's a guy named Stuck. It's hilarious. Here's how it went for me. On that day, I broke into my neighbor's house and stole some eggs from their kitchen. Who knew that I was going to be stuck at the bottom of the mill and couldn't get out? And choked, what happened to you? Oddly enough, the hiccuping speaker is a man named the Choked. <gasps> One time, I was so starving that I almost choked to death <laughs> because I crammed an entire loaf of bread <laughs> into my mouth at once. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Drowned, it's your turn. Tell us your story. Oh my god. There's a man named Drowned, too? I have never come across anything like this. It was unbearably hot at midday, so I went for a swim in the river. Unfortunately, I got a cramp and I couldn't swim, so I drowned. No one came to my aid, but just like swamped, I can float above the ground. Another person who can fly. What's up with all their weird skills? What about you, Hang? What's your story? Me? When I fell from a mango tree while picking fruit, my head hung on a branch, and my neck stretched out like this. <laughs> <laughs> this village has a strange way of giving names. The filthy one is called Swamp. The one with the arched back is Stuck. The one with the distended stomach is Drowned. The one with the hiccups is Choked. And the one with the long neck is Hanged. <laughs> hey, Knight. I heard you spent the night in the village shrine last night. Yes. I did ask to sleep for the night, but no one would let me. I have to tell you, when you went to the village asking for a place to sleep, nobody would have dared to open the door. Why is that? Knight. Don't you know, every night, five ghosts appear to taunt the villagers of this town. What did you say? The village has ghosts? Has... has five ghosts? That's right. Five terrifying ghosts. They show up as the sun goes down. No one dares to go out at night. The villagers had already got a shaman and tried numerous different ways but nothing had any effect on the five ghosts. How could you possibly sleep in the village shrine? That's where those five ghosts make their home. So, so, it was the five ghosts who were in the shrine. Oh, so you met the five ghosts. Young man, are you all right? Oh, Knight, you are so brave. Everyone was afraid to encounter those five ghosts, but you dared to sleep all night in the shrine, facing all five of them. Look at the armor he's wearing. He's a royal knight. He's afraid of no ghosts. That's right. Royal knights. Amazing courage. Oh, Mr. Knight. Your armor's so shiny! I want to be a knight someday! Oh, as a royal knight, he also accomplished extraordinary feats! These ghosts are nothing to him! That's right. I'm a royal knight. I just can't let myself be frightened by ghosts. All hail the knight! Please help us get rid of those five ghosts! Obviously, for the sake of the villagers, I shall rid their town of these five ghosts. Thank you, Valiant Knight. But do the villagers know what their weakness is? Oh, I just know that 
If the names of those five ghosts are correctly spoken out, their souls will be liberated. Speak out the name of the five ghosts but correctly. But possibly can know their names. If just seeing them makes you want to run away in terror, how are we supposed to learn their name? Don't worry, villagers. I'm a royal knight. I'll force them to reveal their names. I will banish them tonight. All oh, hail, hail the knight! knight. He's, He's so, so brave! brave. Oh my goodness, I'm terrified. But if I promise the villagers, I will be so ashamed if I'm unable to do it. You are a royal knight after all, Arthur. Show some gut and dignity. Don't bring shame on the royal family. Let's go back to the shrine and rest. There's nobody here to tease today. This is really boring. If I ever find one, I'll rip him apart for fun. What? Rip? Rip apart? For fun? Oh my lord! Maybe today will finally be the day of my death, but but the villagers said, just speak their names. Just read their names. But what's their name again? Oh my lord. I've memorized it a thousand times, but now my mind is still empty. Oh no! No! I have to remember! I, I can't forget something this important! <gasps> you five ghosts! In the name of the Royal Knights, I will condemn you! <laughs> this is exciting. Someone to tease. Drowned, choked, be gone! Huh? You know our names? My mind! Where did this incident come from? Stuck, hanged, swamped, be gone. After Arthur vanquished those five ghosts, word of his feats spread throughout the land. The news spread to the palace and they called him back. Among the royal knights, he was recognized as the most courageous warrior. <laughs>